Hello, here's a group of my heifers. There's 33 heifers in the offering. These girls are a few half bloods in here. I'm saying a few straight half bloods, some Angus. Most of these girls are kind of quarter bloods, kind of three quarter Angus, quarter semi. But good productive heifers, guys. Heifers in a way close to eight anyway. 750, 775. My plans are to synchronize these girls, breed them up, then sell them as, you know, breads in summer. They're, they were born in the fall of 2012, so obviously they're, they're already, they've been cycling. Um, my plans are, today's the 26th Sunday, plans are to synchronize these girls and start breeding them this week. I'll probably, I have a couple, I have several heifer bulls in the house in the I-80s. Sons of I-80 with low birth weight on uh, our whiskey, whiskey cow. So, club. I think these these cattle are deep ribbed and chunky, and have some big bone. These girls will be moderate frame, but be when they mature, they'll all be kind of 1,200, 1,150, 1,200 pound cows. Things will make great club calf cows. So I'm gonna bring them to bulls that already have some of that. Although low birth weight, of course, they already have some club calf genetics. So in the first calf, it's not just a calf. You take the local cell barn. It's some junk calf, but a calf that have a, a nice quality calf. So my thoughts are this week I'll be coming here and synchronizing these girls and turning my three bulls out with them. Uh, I'll I'll give Lulai shots for 15 head cycle next week. Give a shot the other 15 and the ones that cycle first. I give them a shot again. So uh, I believe in getting enough bull volume on these females to get them cycling, get them bred. And, so I get that first calf on the ground early for the spring cabin window. You know, it, it, obviously, a lot of the, uh, the breeders for the spring cabin guys breed like in later in the spring, first summer. My thoughts are let's have these calves early on the ground, then they can wean the calves and get them slide right back to the spring uh, cabin cycling window. Or if a guy's wanting to use for fall calvers, they can speed them up, obviously. So my, my thoughts are this week, I will be synchronizing these girls with blue lights. Expose the bulls. You see how gentle they are, guys. Really great disposition of these females. They're raised here in central, south central Texas, so they're acclimated to the south. Not a bunch of northern cattle that are they can't take the heat. These girls obviously can take the heat. And again, if someone wanted to screw, take off the baldies, one of the little baldies, they'll be super, super fancy. The blacks are equally as impressive. It's sometimes a ball face. If you wow, see the ball face I like that more, but these cattle all have good wheels, good bone, these depth rib, these girls should make some big strapping functional cattle. You know, got kind of a cows before these American shows here. Woo, woo, woo! Put these uh brangus bulls uh, right now a lot of people like those doge bulls or anything. It's kind of the sky's limit, guys. You can do with these girls. You can keep them, you can keep them clubby and bring them to the smoky bulls with their second calf, or you know. Like, again, like guys using these Americans, Brangus bulls back on these girls. I think they will they have the ability to make some good cattle. Uh, Y'all boys up north, obviously, everybody likes the, uh, the Monopoly, one of those heat wave sons. Uh, these girls are super, super maternal. They're just good cow makers. Again, they don't want to go to the club calf route. The sky's the limit. You can go back with Simmies, with Herefords, with Charlays, Angus, you know, the sky's the limit on these kind of females. Look at they're super 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 gentle. We get all their shots of car current, all but OCB, ready for the bully chores. Again, they were born the fall of 2012. So these girls are two of them are cycling a while ago. So the, the cattle have some depth ribs and bodies, some natural thickness. These guys, these girls are semi angus. A lot of time I sell Brangus cross. These are not the kind, these are all English and continental genetics. No crossbred. Woo, woo, no Brahma cross stuff here. Anyways, four minutes video, guys. Good functional heifers. But plans are to breed them next this week. But if somebody wants to forward contract them, I would uh, sell them in 100 days as ultrasounded bread or whatever, 60 days. I plan to this week go and start putting my low birth rate bulls, synchronizing these girls, getting them in the cabin a tight window. So you, the potential buyer, don't have to worry about stringing heifers along four months, calving them out. My idea is let's get enough bulls on them, get them synchronized, get them all cycling. So drop that first baby on time, fast, and, and don't have to jack with calving heifers out for 
three, four months. Anyway, a nice group of functional heifers, five minutes of functional video. Hope you appreciate these good cattle outside of Slato, Texas. Have a blessed day.